we are discussing ms203 microsoft 365 messaging administrator our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment we really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel to get the complete list of questions and answers click on the playlist link provided in the description our question is you have an is microsoft exchange service hybrid deployment that contains exchange 2013 exchange 2016 and exchange 2019 services all the servers have the latest cumulative up updates applied you need to implement the hybrid model authentication the solution must minimize the cost what should you do first? Option A. Upgrade the Exchange 2013 servers to Exchange 2016 CU7. Option B. Add the on-premises web services URL as an Azure Active Directory service principal names. Option C. Upgrade all the servers to Exchange 2019. Option D. Create an Azure Active Directory conditional access policy for Exchange Online. The correct answer is option B. And next question. Your network contains an Active Directory domain name Fabricum.com. You have a Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 organization that contains two mailbox servers. The servers are members of Database Availability Group. You plan to implement an exchange hybrid deployment. You are evaluating the use of exchange modern hybrid connection option during the hybrid deployment. What are the two benefits of using exchange modern hybrid instead of exchange classic hybrid? Option A. Allow the use of Microsoft Azure multi-factor authentication for an on-premises users. Option B. Eliminates the need to purchase publicly trusted certificates for communication between the on-premises organization and exchange online. Option C. Preserves mailbox quotas when mailboxes are removed are moved between the on-premises organization and exchange online. Option D uses uh, organization configuration transfer to configure exchange online option e allows federated sharing between the on-premises organization and exchange online the correct answer is option b and d next one you have an microsoft exchange server 2019 organization you implement hybrid connectivity to Microsoft 365. You need to ensure that users can use the Microsoft Outlook mobile app on their device to access their on-premises mailbox. What should you do? Option A. Run Azure AD Connect. Option B. Run Set CAS Mailbox Outlook Mobile Enable for each user. Option C. Enable hybrid model authentication. Option D. Configure multi-factor authentication. The correct answer is option C. The next question. You have a hybrid deployment of Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. Users in your company sales department have an on-premises mailboxes and PST files. You need to migrate the PST files to Archive Mailboxes. The Archive Mailboxes must reside in Exchange Online. What should you do first? Option A. From Exchange Management Shell, run the Enable Mailbox Camplet and specify the Archive parameter. Option B. From the Exchange Management Shell, run the New Move Request Camplet. Option C. From the Exchange Online PowerShell, run the Set Mailbox Camplet and specify the Archive Status Parameter. Option D. From the Exchange Online PowerShell, run the New Mailbox Camplet and specify the Archive Parameter. The correct answer is Option A. And 
and next one your network contains an active directory domain name fabricum.com you have a microsoft exchange server 2019 organization that contains two mailbox servers in the database availability group you plan to implement a hybrid deployment by using the exchange modern hybrid connection option which three configuration will be transferred automatically from the on premises organization to exchange online option a the device access rules option b the address book policy option c the messaging record management setting option d the main flow rules option e the address list the correct answer are option a c and e